Veet, a JavaScript development server that significantly improves the front-end development experience. Most notably, Veet serves your source files over native ES modules, which makes it extremely fast. Veet also offers a build command that bundles your code pre-configured to output highly optimized assets for production. One of the reasons module bundlers are popular today is the poor support for ES6 modules by the browser. Many modern browsers now support native ES6 modules, which means you can use import and export statements natively. We can include our imports in our HTML by setting the type equal to module attribute in our script tag. V uses this to its advantage by serving the ES import syntax directly to the browser and any browser that supports the native script module. The browser will automatically parse the imports and then make HTTP requests for each of them. The dev server intercepts these requests and performs codes transformations only when necessary. On top of Veet's blazing fast setup speeds, it also offers some additional perks. Let's take a look at each of them. First, we have bare module resolving. Browsers do not yet support bare module imports. This means when you import from a package, it does not contain the relative path to our node modules. V checks your JavaScript files for these imports, and then it rewrites them and performs module resolution to locate the correct files in your project's dependencies. Veet also offers hot module replacement. Hot module replacement is a feature available in JavaScript bundlers where your JavaScript file changes are updated in the browser without needing a refresh. With Veet, all your file changes are reflected in the browser almost immediately. This is because Veet decouples replacement performance from the total number of modules. This makes HMR in your project considerably fast no matter how big it gets. Another great feature offered by Veet is the on-demand compilation. Veet compiles source files as they are requested by the browser, so the only code that is imported and required on the current screen is compiled. This is different from what current bundlers do because they compile all the files in your project and bundle them before you can begin making changes to them. This makes Veet suitable for large projects. Finally, Veet offers an advanced configuration option. If you like to have more control over your project, you can extend the default configuration of your project with the veet.config.json or the veet.config.ts file. You may also explicitly specify a config file using the Veet CLI. Now let's take a look at how we can get started using Veet in a new application. To do this, we can make use of the Create Veet app, which provides boilerplate to bootstrap new Veet projects. For this example, we'll create a view project, but as you can see, Veet is framework agnostic and you can use whatever you'd like. We'll use the name Testing Veet as the project name for this tutorial, but it can be replaced with whatever name you deem fit. We can then spin up our development server in the browser by running the dev command. For production builds, Veet uses Rollup under the hood. This means you can pass most options to Veet that you would to Rollup. The production build outputs to a disk directory located in the root of your project. It contains static assets that can be deployed anywhere and can be polyfilled to support older browsers. Overall, with V, you have a very fast development server that could improve your development workflow and increase productivity. The results of your file changes are instantaneous in the browser and you can bundle your app for production using Rollup. I hope you learned about Veet and how you may want to use it in your next project. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other tutorials. I have a growing community over on Discord, so I recommend you go and check it out. Hope to see you in the next one.